Hi all, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I'll show you how to make a simple Elementor download file button such as this one. So what, what happens when I click on this, it says my file is downloaded and then I also get the file and this can be any file from your media library. It's quick and simple and I hit the button. I showed this which is essentially a heading widget in Elementor. I'll show you how to do that. It's really easy with the help of a little bit of JavaScript. The first step is to drag in Elementor button widget. It will work with your existing buttons. So this is basically an Elementor button widget. I'll just click on this, scroll down and give it an ID of tiny-btn. You can give it any unique ID of that page. Just make sure that the ID will be unique on that page. My ID is tiny-btn. Now below this, I'll just drag in a heading widget and I'll say your file is downloaded and a smiley align it onto the center style text color in this okay that's fine well how do you hide the button and show the text when the button is clicked also how do you hide the text before the button is clicked well these are called events in HTML or basically JavaScript so when something happens on your website you do a function so this is called an event and we're going to write a function in JavaScript. Don't worry, the code will be in the description. You can just copy and paste the code. I'll just have it on a code pen. Just go to the code pen and copy the code from the JavaScript section. I'll also give this heading widget an ID. If it already has an ID, you can use that or I'll say my title. So this is tiny btn and this is my title. Now. I'll just click on the widgets button. I'll drag in an HTML Elementor widget. It's this one and not this. Click and drag this. Although this is HTML, we're not going to write any HTML. We're just going to put the script. So just put the script between the script tags as you see on the screen. Angular braces. The first tag will not have the forward slash, but the ending tag will always have. Now between this copy the code that you get from the code pen link to the code pen will be in the description now I'll say document dot there's something called query selector and within the query selector you just put the ID of the button it's tiny hyphen btn but since it's an ID you have to put hash if it's a class name you can simply put dot so it's query selector in double quotes don't worry this code will be in the description and to this will add an event listener so whenever you add an event listener it will perform a function when that event occurs on that particular element so I'll say click and now I just want a function when the element is clicked so I'll say okay the function spelling is wrong so for click event or basically when this ID is clicked or in this case when the button is clicked we'll do a couple of things the first thing is to hide the button itself and show this one. So how do you do that? In a similar fashion, document.querySelector will use this. So this will get the button. We'll do this after showing the text. So text has a title of my title and I'll say style dot display equals block the same thing with this document dot query selector basically we are showing the text widget or the heading widget after this function or within this function right and we are going to hide the button so document dot query selector will get the button and then we'll change the style actually display to none so that way the button will be hidden but we also want the text to be hidden by default so simply We'll just put the same code outside the function and since by default we just don't want to show the text i'll say none as you can see the text disappears from the screen i'll update this so that's the code you can also resize your window to get a better picture of the code since it looks a bit cluttered this way you can simply resize the window and you can now clearly understand so document dot query selector within this it's the same as getting the element using CSS. So if you say hash my title, it'll target the element in CSS. This is something similar to that query selector. 
and then you change the display of the element to block or none none will hide the element block will show the element and by default i just want my heading text to be hidden that's why i wrote this code outside of the function and when the function is performed the button or the text is shown and then the button is hidden so kind of rescale it again now i'll just click on preview this is my preview watch what happens when i click on the button just like that our file is downloaded or it's just showing me that my file is downloaded now we didn't add the file or the download link yet we'll just go ahead and do that so this is the code part of showing button or hiding a button and then showing the text now let's get to the actual thing which is to download a file so within the link to the button just copy and paste the URL of any media on your website I'll just do this We'll copy the URL of this invoice PDF. It can be any file, it doesn't matter. It can be PDF, it can be JPEG, it can be GIF, whatever you have on your site. Once you paste the link, you're not done yet. You need to click on the settings cog and within here, there are something called custom attributes. So simply type download and if you leave it as is, it'll still work. Download doesn't need a value. It'll work out of the box. But if you want to set the file name of the downloaded file, you can simply do that. So just enter this vertical pipe character and then say WP file or whatever name you want after that. It, this can be anything, but this should be download. That way you're specifying or adding a custom attribute. Now, if you don't find custom link attributes, you're essentially using an older version of Elementor. This custom attributes feature is a part of Elementor 2.9. Make sure you have Elementor 2.9. So once you do, update that. Even the preview gets up updated. Click and there's our file. Click on it and there's our file. Cool, right? You can link any file here. Just paste the URL of the file that you want to be downloaded when the button is clicked. And that's how you make your click to download button. And there's one more trick I want to mention. If you don't want to hide the button, you can simply add two forward slashes at the start of each line and that will comment it out basically making it unexecutable so your browsers will ignore the comment so if you don't want to hide the button you can do something else i'll just remove this comment as you can see it becomes a proper working code now within the button there's something called elementor button text if you want to change the button text you can do that and this is the code and you can customize this to anything you want so you can say download it update it wait for my preview to reload just like that see that we didn't hide the button but rather we just change the text to download it i'll reload this if you reload it the button is back to normal state just like that cool right so this is how you add click to download button to your website this script code will be in the code pen link find it in the description and if you're getting 403 error make sure you disable word fence while you update the code and publish this once you do you can re-enable word fence or you can simply use unlimited elements widget creator to put the script that way you won't get any errors if you want to learn more about widget creator i'll leave a link to that in the description as well check that out that's it for now see you in the next one peace